I can remember growing up in Jamaica as a young boy and my grandfather saying to me, you can be anything you want to be in life. At that point, I had no idea what he meant, but today, I am following my dreams. As a kid growing up in, in a third world country, I always wanted more out of life. I believed that there was more out there. How I was going to get it, I have no idea. But I knew there was something out there and I was going to find it. My grandparents would make my brothers and myself wash the dishes, move the goats and cows to different feeding spots, feed the, the chickens and the pigs all before going to school in the morning. And after school, we had to walk about a half a mile to the river to catch water because we didn't have the luxury of running water, toilets, or showers in our homes like we do here. So I knew this wasn't the life for me. I used to tell my grandfather that I was gonna be some, I was gonna be important. And I was gonna make something of myself. And he would look me in my eyes and he said, You can be anything you want to be in life. And I believed him. As I transitioned into the North American culture, my brothers and I developed a deep love for the game of basketball. All the other kids were <coughs> 10 steps ahead of us because we never played nor seen it being played before. So we had a lot of catching up to do. We would dribble the ball everywhere we went, inside the house, on our way to school, in the grocery store with my mother. Heck, I even slept with the damn ball. <laughs> <laughs> as, I, as I went to high school, I realized that I was a little better than average. And I was even better than some of the kids that I've been playing a lot longer than I have. But I wasn't satisfied with that. I wanted to be the best. So I would watch the kids that were better than me. And if I was impressed with their moves, I would add it to my game. So now I'd have their moves and my own moves, which made me a more better player. You know, I can remember my last year, my, the summer before my last year of high school, I worked so hard. I didn't even know the human body was capable of the torture I put myself through. I was reading a basketball magazine, and they had a program in there on how to increase your vertical jump called Air Alert. And I had to have it. It was a 12-week program, and you had to do it five days a week. And every week, it got harder and harder. But I wanted to jump higher and higher. So I pushed myself harder and harder. Man, there was days that I just wanted to give up but I kept telling myself, you want to be able to jump higher? You want to be the best? You got to train hard. And I would push myself through week after week after week until my 12 weeks was up. I would train in the morning and play basketball in the afternoon every day, man, because I wanted to be unstoppable on the basketball court. I battled with my brothers and all of our friends, and I saw my game getting better. And that's when I realized when you put in work, when no one's watching, you will get the results you're looking for. You know, I had, I had my best season my last year of high school. And even though we didn't win the championship like I planned in my mind, the game was a lot easier for me. You know, a lot of the kids were still bigger and stronger than me, but they didn't have my work ethics or the love I had for the game. When I, when I graduated from high school, I didn't know what was next. I was lost. I had odd jobs here and there, but none of them was satisfying me. So I kept searching and, and searching for the next best thing. About five years ago, I became a ferocious reader. I read self-help books, studied the law of attraction, listened to motivational audios over and over again. And that helped me to find my true calling in life, which is to inspire and, and motivate people. You know, the law of attraction uh, led me to Susan Stillman. And she introduced me to Toastmasters. And now I'm a proud member of Toastmasters. And I come here every week. I bring the same work ethics here as I brought to the basketball court. I come every week with the, with the intention of learning from all the speakers and added something new to my delivery. Sometimes, sometimes I wish we met more than once a week. That way I, I can get up here and practice and feel more at ease and get the confidence I need to deliver my message. 
I believe we all have a purpose in life. And our ultimate goal is to figure out what that purpose is. And when you do, take consistent and persistent effort, action towards that until you reach that purpose. And no matter what, you never quit, whether it takes you five years, 10 years, 20 years, or maybe even your whole life. Never quit until you get there. And that's how you follow your dreams. Mr. Toastmasters.